Hello, everyone. Welcome to our interview with the amazing Joe Soley of Bizology. Say hello, Joe. Hello. Joe is one of our speakers at RHS Live, which is taking place this Friday. So, Joe, why don't you just introduce yourself and let everyone know what you do? Thank you, Carol. So my name's Joe Jo Soli. I'm a business coach and business numerologist, and I use the power of numerology to help you elevate your business success. So, Joe, just let everyone know if they are new to numerology, what is numerology and sort of like what's the best way to get started? So numerology so is an ancient science. It was used by the ancient Greeks, the Egyptians, it's in the Bible, it's in the Kabbalah, it's as old as the hills, but it's as new as the next decision that you're going to make. So most people don't know why they exist, right? Most business owners don't know why they're here. Numerology is a modality that really helps you understand why you're here so the best place to start is your life path number because this is the path you're here to walk this lifetime it's not the easiest number to embody but it's where all the magic happens in your life and business the next place after that is your personal year because there's better years and easier years to do things and your personal year because we work in nine year cycles shows us what's going on in our lives right now so just for some context i'm a life path one the leader i've got to put my head down do my own thing get on with it carol's a nine what do we nine. do when we need help we ring 999 nine is the humanitarian it's all about love healing and service and helping others carol is currently in her sixth year yeah. which is about community connection groups, collaboration, events, networking, and I'm in a seven year, which is quieter, it's reflection, introspection, and research. So when you know this information, you can stop trying to put round pegs in square holes so that you can move forward in your business, stay in your lane, and ignore the imposter syndrome and comparatonitis. So just so that everyone knows, you move into New Year on your birthday. Yeah, you, you'll you feel already, Carol, because your birthday is next month, you'll yeah. feel your seven year already creeping. Really? And I then, like all the collaborations and communities. Yeah, you'll never stop doing that because you're a nine, but then you, you get the chance to feel what it is. So seven is about thinking and seeking and learning and questioning and asking. I don't have any seven really in my chart, but I'm really feeling it this year. Mm. So Gosh. yours will kick in mid next month. So um, what are the uh, common challenges or misunderstandings um, that people maybe need to look out for specifically when we're looking at the days of the week because joe's going to be speaking at rhs and she's going to be sharing some fantastic insights with us that you're only going to be able to get there i'm afraid unfortunately well unfortunately everyone but it's looking at the days of the week and how there are better days aren't there joe for doing certain things so how do you sort of like connect in with those activities uh, with the energies of the days of the week? So like I said, there's better years and easier years to do things. There's better months and easier months to do things. There's better days and easier days to do things. And we mistakenly think that every day is the same, but it's not. Yeah. Every day is ruled by numeric energy. So today, 19, 11, 2024 20, vibrates at a number 11. It's an 11 day today. It's quite intense, but it also has an astrological connection because every day is ruled by a different planet. So so when we understand this, and this is what I'm going to share on Friday, then it's game changing. Once you hear this information, you can't unhear it. Mm. So for instance, we call Wednesday hump day. 
because we think we're halfway through the week and we're at Wednesday and everything's going to get better now because we're halfway through the week. But no, that's a mistake. Every day is important. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all has a different energy. And when we know this in our business, we can use the energy of the planet. Some days are masculine, some days are feminine, some days go beyond masculine or feminine. And when we can use that, then we can stop getting our knickers in a twist. <laughs> so how did you first discover uh, the idea of working with the energies of the days of the week? Because I have to admit, I've never come across a numerologist that goes into the numbers in the detail that you go into, sort of like what is our life path number? But it's not just that, it's the days of the week, it's the year. So how, how did you first discover the idea of working with those specific energies? So in my personal year one, which was seven years ago, I launched Bizology because that's a year to launch new things. I had the idea in my nine year, if I started it in my nine year, it would have felt old. But I did lots and lots and lots of research. And I intuitively kind of knew what felt right and what didn't. And part of that research was looking a little bit into astrology. I prefer numerology because there's less reference points, less reference points, less confusion, less confusion, less delusion. Things like astrology and human design are very amazing tools, but they're quite yeah. complicated. They are. They and are. then they get quite confusing. Yeah. But I stood in my lane as a life path one with numerology, but I have brought in a bit of astrology planetarily. Yeah, because I have in, I mean, my, my dad studied astrology, funnily enough, mm. one of the things that he did. Um, and I'm very interested in human design. But human design is very complex. And the thing is that I find is that I don't emotionally connect with human design or astrology it's not that I'm not interested or I don't go to people to have readings I do but when it's numerology and when you're working on your own birth date the con emotional connection there is far greater and when you know that you're moving into a new year and it's the new year for you not for everyone else but for the people that were born on that day it just feels much more personal. And I think you're absolutely right. And I've even had this with my clients. They've said to me, Joe makes it really easy to understand and I can really get on board with it. And they've talked about other modalities and said how confusing it is. So mm. I completely agree. There's, there's less things to remember. And I think it's more personal as well. And I think there's a um, trend at the moment, more, 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 give me more, 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 more. Yeah. But then that, you can't, you can only hold so much. So you don't mm. need more, more, more. You need to know what you know and then go deeper with that. So I always say bizology is not one and done. Every day I I see how my year connects with my month or my life path connects with my approach, etc., etc. What my name's showing me in the world. It's a J word. It's a journey. <laughs> We love a journey. So can you maybe just give us an example of how a business owner might, you know, plan their week or plan one of their days so it's fitting in with the sort of like cosmic themes for the day? Yeah, because I noticed that a lot of business owners were struggling to do think certain things on certain days. Yeah. And that is because certain days are better for um, certain activities. So I created a blueprint, which things you could potentially do on certain days. So I'll give one example. Monday is ruled by the moon. Monday, moon day. In French, lundi, luna. That was yesterday. We're sat here on the Tuesday. So the moon is a very, very, very emotional force. It's very intense. Everyone jumps up and down now about moonology, but you've got to be careful with the moon because it's an illusion. So things happen on a Monday. On a Tuesday, you kind of question. It's like 
that it's not how it seems on a Monday. So I say to my clients, hold on for dear life, start later, finish earlier. I don't see clients, do feminine things, do little jobs, do marketing, work on your business, not in it. Work with divination, work with your intuition and get through the day. So every day I've created this, do this on a Monday, do this on a Tuesday, do this on a Wednesday. You can ignore me. But it helps use the um, astrological energies. And people have come back to me and say, oh, I feel so much better. Or I knew that Mondays I didn't like going networking or I didn't like meetings or I didn't like big events. Don't have important meetings on a Monday. Mm-hmm. And when I work, was a business development manager for a large adventure park in the southwest, my boss, who he took the first Ministry of Sound nightclub to Singapore, and he'd worked like in these massive um, companies. He always said no meetings on a Monday. So he intuitively knew we were just going to get through the day. Tuesday, nine o'clock, we had all our meetings. And then Monday, you can just go in and use that moon energy and get your ducks in a row. Be mindful of being oversensitive, create balance, pace yourself. I go to yoga now, seven o'clock Monday night. It's all like in keeping. And then Mm. Tuesday, go. Yeah. That's really, really interesting. Um, How does working with the energies of the week help business owners to move into a flow state? I know you touched on it a bit there, but I just wondered if you could share maybe another success story uh, where this approach has made maybe a really big impact for one of your clients. I know you mentioned one just recently. Yeah, Friday's softer, right? You can't really push it on a Friday. Everyone loves Friday, but there's a reason to love Friday. So you might like have big important meetings on a Friday or you want to do lots of work on a Friday, but you can't really galvanize yourself to do that. There's other days that are better to do that. It might be a Tuesday, it might be a Thursday, it might be a Saturday. So what I do with my clients when we get to that piece of the Bizology session, and we did it, Carol, is have a look at what the energies are ripe for on certain days, and then look at what you do in your business and just tweak it a little bit so that, say, if you're working three days a week, what are the best three days a week to work for you? Yeah. If somebody's working for you three days a week, what are the best three days? If you've got something that's eluding you in the week and you can't get you can't get to it, when's the best day to really do that when's the best day to relax when's the best day to communicate when's the best day to put your email out there when's the best day to write a newsletter when's the best day to put your podcast out so there's better days and easier days to do things so we look at at no what no two businesses are the same we look at the business model we look at the ideal client we look at the activities we look at the size is it in person is it online is there a big team is there a little team and then we look at what energy is the best for each day yeah yeah it is fascinating isn't it yeah and the thing is it's not one size fits all it's like some of the obviously the fundamentals are the same but it works differently for different people yeah definitely and and also as a life path one my energies are really for and i'm aries you're a fire sign, right? I'm so such we're carers. quite active, and we're yeah. good at action. And we don't like people don't like people who are lazy or don't say what don't they're going to do. Action. Don't do the work. <laughs> like action. So Tuesday is a really good action day for us. Today is a good action day for us. But if we try to do that momentum that we're doing today on a moon day. It doesn't land so well. So it's good to look at your energies as well. In this case, your your, um, astrological sign, we're fire signs. It's good to look at your life path number. I've got lots of action numbers. Even though Carol's a nine, you're very good at vision. You've got two eights. You've got five. You're more eight than nine because if you're eight in your chart, although your life path is at nine. So, and I've got one, four, eight, nine, 22. I've got business numbers. You've got business numbers. So 
somebody might not have business numbers they might have three six nine like creative consciousness numbers then they would be good to do different things on more softer days like monday and friday so yeah we look at the person as well Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I remember when Joe told me that I was a nine and I was the humanitarian. I kept saying to her, I don't think I am. No, I really don't think I am. And you had to keep saying, yeah, but you really help people. And it just wasn't landing. And then even other clients were saying, yeah, you really help us. You're so helpful. And Joe's going, that's part of the humanitarian. But then Joe said, well, you've got these eights. When I had uh, deeper sessions, I've had like a, a series with Joe, And she said, well, that's eight. And that's all about money in general. I said, oh, I like that. <laughs> I said, you know, as the salesperson, I want to see those results. I want to see the results in me. I want to see the results in my clients. And I want to see that, you know, flow of money coming in. So then I was sort of like, really happy with it but uh yeah it was absolutely fascinating so joe if somebody wanted to get in contact with you let's say they're not they're unable to come to rich heart and spiritual they wanted to get in contact with you or work with you what's the best way that they can start with you what's the journey that they can start to take with you so if you go to um josoli.com Then on my homepage, there's a drop down. It says start here. There's lots of free resources, life path app and personal mm. year app and videos pop up and you'll get um, emails just giving you a little bit about um, Bizology. That's the first place. Then I've got a book that I wrote, Bizology 101. It's $14.99 on Amazon. But um, something that Carol's asked me to bring is my planner so Got this um, it's lovely and uh, this all talks about the days of the week as well but um this is available on the um on the website and can this you get that on amazon as well or just from your no, website because it's spiral bound right um this and uh, yeah this is available on the website as well so i'd say Go on the website, fill in the apps. Bizology 101 is a great starting point. The plan is great. And then you can book a call with me to find out your numbers top line. And I share the ways that you can work with me one to one. Yeah. And can people just buy like a one off session with you? Yeah, you can do personal years. There's an offer at the moment for the whole of November, actually, if You don't mind me sharing? No, no, not at all. Go planner ahead. Planner and the uh, personal year session. Buy it as a bundle, save £25. Yeah, good. And how much is that? 225 It's 225 at the moment, but that's only available for November. And then the price will go back up in December. Yeah. Yeah. All I can say, Joe, is that everyone, I remember the very first time I met Joe, right? So she came to one of my events, Rich Heart and Spiritual, and she wanted to be a speaker. And I've said, you know, I only have people speaking who I've met. So Joe came along and she very quickly showed me what my personal year was and what it meant. It just blew me away. And everyone that Joe had done the speed networking with, they were just all raving about her. So Joe then came and spoke at my event. This was the last event before we went into lockdown. I remember that we did it in actually January, which was really unusual because yeah. normally I don't run big events in January. And we had some fantastic speakers. But after Joe got up, Joe uh, and did her speech and just everyone loved her. And it was so funny as well. Joe is so funny that I had people come into me saying she was your best speaker. She was the person who like stole the show. So everyone, absolutely everyone loves Joe when you come into Joe's world. So I would definitely get her book if you just want something, especially because Christmas is coming up, you might have some days, you know, or even if you're uh, abroad in the States and you've got Thanksgiving coming up, you can just sit down and read it. And then they also make great Christmas presents as well. And if you're in the UK and you want something, especially to give as a gift or for yourself, because 
Joe's planners, there's an awful lot of thought that's gone into them. And you can start them any time in the year. So you could get your planner next week and start it, or you could keep it for a couple of months and start it, can't you, Joe? Yes, yeah, start any time. And then it's the week, which we can keep their secret until RHS. <laughs> it's got personal years. It's all in branding colours, my personal years. There's lots of good questions you can complete as well. And I've made it like, quite inspirational there's quotes so yeah thank you yeah uh, I mean it was a real labor of love to pull that all together oh yeah yes. it nearly killed me but um <laughs> nothing of worth comes easy right yeah that's right so Joe, thank you so much for your time today I know how super busy you are we will put your details below please do reach out to Joe. we'll put the link for her book on Amazon we'll also put the link for your website where you can get all those wonderful freebies there but also you could sign up for the planner and if you feel that you want to take your first step into numerology and dig in a little bit deeper please reach out and have a one-to-one -one session is there anything else you'd like to say joe thank you very much for the opportunity and carol always showcases me so thank you very much it's a pleasure thank you everyone and we'll see you in the next video take care and bye for now